Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and I am on the final of the small little cases, the small display cases. Case number four was the last one chosen. Um, so let's see who lives in case number four. Bowling Party Whitney lives in case number four. This is a really cute little Whitney because the hair is shorter. You don't have the long hair, it's just a little short sassy cut. Um, now what you didn't see on Janet from the other case is they came with a bowling ball bag also. So this is Whitney's. It's a cute little ball and it's the same little gimmick on it. It stands there with a magnet and then she has a case for it. The shoes are cute. They're blue and red. It's just a really adorable Whitney and she's got her heart shaped glasses on. She's so cute. Next in the bowling party we have Stacy. This is a really nice outfit on Stacy. It's the long pants. It's not a legging outfit. It's got the bowling ball on it. It's got the bowling pins on it. It has braids. They're adorable. And she also has her bowling ball that hooks on and a really cute little bowling bag. It's an adorable series and she has green and pink shoes. Both in 98. We have Pose and Play Stacy. This was one of the early ones. Really cute. Uh, the fashions on those early Stacy and Todd's are so adorable. Um, I mean, look at Town Tooth jacket, the hat. Everybody wore the hat. Um, this is 92, so the 90s kid had hats. Uh, this is when we realized that we had a Todd but we didn't have a Tootie. Suddenly we had a Stacy and had to live with the fact that no, Tootie's not coming back. But it's really cute. It's got the foo-foo, it's got a, a bodysuit underneath, little glam here. It's adorable. Next we have Chris. Now Chris is about 1965. Um, she is a friend of Tootie and Todd, and Chris is a really cute little girl because she's brunette. I adore her, and she's got her little brown eyes on her. I, I love brown eyed dolls. I think that and dolls that wear glasses. So um, I don't remember what she's wearing, if this was her original outfit or not, but I love Chris. Flashlight Fun Skipper. She was a, a later edition. She was 1997. She wears a battery pack on her so that you can put batteries in and you can have her light, her flashlight go on and then she can go to the slumber party. She's cute. She's a very cute little one. She's got like a jean jacket on, a cute little top. It's got Winnie the Pooh on it, little orange shoes. It's really a, a cute little, little set and the other girls come in it too. So it's a cute one to buy your child. Or you. This is a straight lake scooter. She would be about 1965, 1967. Um, she has faded a lot. Her cheeks have faded more to a white color. But she is wearing, I can't remember, this is the uh, skating outfit of Skippers. So it's just a little straight leg scooter. You've seen the other pizza parties. Well, now we have another Skipper pizza party. Same cute outfit, um, you know, realistic looking food. She's just adorable. She's a very pretty Skipper, um, has the little red earrings. She has a little ponytail on the side. Really adorable little girl. Pet Pals Courtney. I love Courtney. And this is adorable purple little outfit with the little pet, the cat on it and all the little footprints and the purple flats and the shorts and the ribbon and the crimped hair. She's just a really pretty Courtney. Next we have Disney's Alice in Wonderland. And what's nice about her is she has a skipper face. Uh, they used Mattel's faces for a lot of their earlier dolls. They did it for Wendy, um, Tinkerbell, and uh, this is another one that they used. So then they changed it. So if you want one of these girls, um, find one with a skipper face. The only thing um, that's an, a negative on her is that right when I got her and took her out of the bag, her shoes split. 
right in the front. So, but she's really pretty. And you want the one with the little foo foo on there. But look around, they're kind of high though. Wait for a sale. Then I have this is Tootie, and this would have come from the set that came with the little piano. And actually, she's a replacement Tootie for me. She was given to me as a gift. My original Tootie that looked like this was one of my favorite Tooties in the world. And her body got messed up. Uh, I think the dog grabbed it. And I had her head for a long time, and then we moved a lot, and her head got lost. But um, she's my replacement. She does not have her piano and her, well, she goes up a little bit. She's kind of a little wiggy there on her, her wires. It is one of my favorite little Tooties. I just love the pigtails. Tootie would have come out in my magic paper here in 1966. Then we have Living Skipper. This is my Living Skipper. She's a childhood doubt. Her hair is not in the greatest shape, but maybe I can try to fix it. She's wearing the dance outfit, which I don't remember the name for. Um, Living Skippers were 1970. Um, she would have come out and then Fluff came out after her. Just my doll. Then we have, in one of the cases, I showed you the neighborhood kids, the happy family. And this is the third little neighborhood kid, which is an adorable little kid. It is so realistic looking. I mean, everything down to the tiny detail, it's really cute. I've talked about Dawn Dolls before. This, they are made by Topper. This is Dale. Um, she is wearing Wedding Bell Dream, which used to be white and has now changed to ivory. I don't have her veil, I don't think, anymore. Uh, but she's another Dawn friend. And then the last one in that case is a Merry Monster Halloween Kayla, which is 1994. Um, this is when they started to get really plasticky, but because she's a Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein kind of thing, um, she is so cool. So I kept her and she gets to play with the other vintage dolls because she's just adorable. I hope this little series of look at what's in these cases has been informative for you. I hope you found something that you can go look on eBay or at a doll show and find for yourself. And that's all I have, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.